hello everyone you are welcome how to solve and find the value of this beautiful square root math problem which is whole square root of 8 plus square root of 63 now how can we solve this math problem first of all here we can write this 63 as the product of 63 can be written as 9 times 7 which is 63 so here we replace this with this product so this will become whole square root of 8 plus square root of 63 can be written as 9 times 7. Here we can write this number as we know that we can write square root of a times b as the product of square root of first number times square root of second number. So using this result here we can write this one term as this will become whole square root of 8 plus this will become square root of 9. So square root of 9 is simply 3 times square root of 7. Here our target to is to eliminate this square root from this one number. Now to eliminate this square root from this number here we will try to make this number as a perfect square. Now to make this number as a perfect square here we will multiply and divide this number with 2. So this will become whole square root of let's multiply and divide 2 with this number so this will become Two by two, eight plus three times square root of seven. And let's multiply two with numerator. So this will become whole square root of eight times two is sixteen plus two times three is six times square root of seven divided by two. Next we can write this sixteen as this can be written as whole square root of sixteen can be written as nine plus seven, which is sixteen plus 6 times square root of 7 divided by 2. Now here we know that we can write any number a as square root of a whole square. This is because the square and the square root can cancel each other and it gives them a back. So using this result here we can write this 9, this 7 as so become whole square root of 9 is same as 3 square plus 7 can be written as square root of 7 square plus we can write this 6 times square root of 7 as 2 times 3 times square root of 7 and 2 can be written as square root of 2 whole square. We look at 2 this numerator here this numerator is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2 times a. Now this is an algebraic identity. This can be written as a plus b whole square. So using this identity here we can write this numerator as here our a is 3 and our b is square root of 7. So this will become whole square root of our numerator will become 3 plus square root of 7 whole square and denominator is square root of 2 whole square. Now since there is square over the numerator and denominator, so therefore we can take this square common from numerator and denominator as well. So this will become square root of 3 plus square root of 7 divided by square root of 2 whole square. Now here this square and this square will be cancelled. So this will become only 3 plus square root of 7 divided by square root of 2. So here this will become 3 plus square root of 7 divided by square root of 2. Now here we can stop our solution here. This may be our answer. But we can further simplify this number by multiplying and dividing this number. So let's multiply and divide square root of 2. So this will become square root of 2 also divide square root of 2. So here multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So this will become this will become 3 times square root of 2 plus and this will become square root of 7 times square root of 2 and this is same number so this will become square root of 2 whole square. Now further this will become 3 times square root of 2 plus 
Uh, there is square root over both numbers so therefore we can write this is square root of 7 times 2 and this square and the square root will be cancelled so this will become only 2 now further this can be written as 3 times square root of 2 plus this will become square root of 14 divided by 2 so finally 3 times square root of 2 plus square root of 14 divided by 2 is our answer and value of this beautiful square root math problem.